Hello YouTube, it's Jim Chapman with American Air Gun Hunter. I'm getting ready to leave on a hunting trip down to South Texas. I'm going to be bringing along the FX Impact and I'm going to be using this with the hybrid slugs, the uh, 22 grain, 22 caliber uh, slug. These are really interesting. They've got a, uh, a gaping uh, hollow point, they've got a, a uh, hollow concave base and they're just set up to work perfectly with air guns, but unlike Diablo pellets, they're also going to have an improved ballistic coefficient. Uh, one of the things that I'm quite interested in seeing with this combination of the, the impact with these bullets is how they work on long range shooting. And I'm gonna be taking them down to a, a friend's ranch in West Texas to, uh, to see how they perform on jackrabbits at long distances. Actually, I wanna look at them at all distances. I wanna make sure that at closer ranges, they're expanding properly, but also that they've got the accuracy and they, they uh, preserve energy to work well downrange. The FX Impact is a known entity in the air gunning world. Uh, it's a modular bullpup design, uh, fully adjustable, both in terms of the ergonomics, but also in terms of the, uh, the shooting characteristics, the, the uh, shooting profile. Uh, it's a regulated gun, and the regulator can be adjusted. Uh, and this, uh, this gun has really proven itself with standard caliber uh, pellets to be a, a good long range performer. But I think we're gonna eke even a little bit better performance out of it using these hybrid slugs. Now, when hunting jackrabbits, especially at this time of year, um, what I want is a flat shooting rifle bullet combination. And the reason for this is quite simple. A lot of times there's a lot of brush, a lot of twigs, branches between you and the target. So you need something flat shooting. If you're dealing with a, a loopy trajectory and you've got a very small window uh, of, of access shooting lane, uh, it's a hard combination. So if you have something that's flat that you can thread the, uh, the shooting lane to get from your gun to your, your target, it's a good thing for this type of hunting. My plan for the gun at this point in time is I'm going to start out with the uh, the gun in daytime hunting. I'm going to have an MTC scope mounted on top, uh, and I'm going to use this for uh, for standard uh, shooting. And I, I plan on taking jackrabbits between say 20 and 100 yards. Um, if I'm able to get what I need in terms of uh, footage in the first day with the jackrabbits, I'm going to switch over to my uh, my ATN Thor thermal scope. And I'm going to put that on and go out for a little bit of predator hunting. And also, at night hunting for predators with the thermal scope, one of the things that I have trouble with is, is gauging distance at night. I mean, maybe other people are better at this than I am, but I do have some trouble there. Sure, if, if I'm shooting at 40 yards or at 55 yards. So to be able to, to reduce that, uh, that um, vertical travel of the, uh, of the uh, point of impact is, is going to be a positive factor. So I'm thinking uh, flat shooting, I'm going to be, uh, be better at night as well as at day. You know, when I'm out there and the conditions aren't windy, when there's not uh, any restrictions on the shooting lane, I don't mind dealing with a little bit of an, an arc trajectory. You get used to that in air gunning, but for these specific applications, I'm really hoping to move away from that. So it's going to be a lot of fun on this trip. I can't wait to get out there and uh, let's, uh, let's get going. We'll see what happens. You'll notice that my pump didn't have the quick release supplied by FX, so I removed the trigger guard assembly when I filled the gun to let me access and disconnect the fitting after bleeding the circuit. I love these aerial views of jackrabbits being interrupted by my drone while they were feeding.
seen the uh, the FX. It's my uh, Mark II. It's got a, a sleeve barrel. I'm shooting the uh, hybrid slugs through it. 22. Man, it hits. It hits hard. It's flat shooting. Uh, it uh, it holds on to its velocity and its uh, accuracy reaching out there one way. So pretty impressed with what I'm seeing so far. Get out there and see if I can get it. Our approach to night hunting was to drive the ranch roads and do a set every quarter mile and then set up the Fox Pro with either the lightning jack or baby cottontail distress calls. We'd scan with the red light and as soon as we'd see incoming eyes, we'd shut off the lights and go thermal. I was pleased with this fox. He came in aggressively to the call, then started cutting towards the wind, giving me a good broadside shot. On the next set, this coyote pup came straight in and ran right under the truck. Maybe I'll see him next year. The last stand of the night, a raccoon came into the call. They can be very aggressive coming in the call. This one was tentative. I hit him in the chest and found him a few feet away from where I shot him. So the question I set out to answer for myself, how do I rate the 22 caliber FX impact when paired up with the hybrid slug? It's dead accurate, hard hitting, and very flat shooting. A great small game gun and a great long distance shooter. 